We've got some breaking news, more breaking news, believe it or not. SUNY Oneonta is sending its students home for the semester after a coronavirus outbreak swept its campus. 389 positive cases of the deadly virus since the start of the semester, which just started 11 days ago. Now, this is a wake up call to colleges and universities across the country. Alabama State University choosing technology from Dragonfly, a company we've had here on Countdown, to help assess student health and social distancing compliance in real time. To find out more about it, how this all works, I want to bring in Dragonfly CEO Cameron Chell. He's here on a Fox Business exclusive. And Cameron, this is. It's fascinating what your company does. It really is. So you've got these 10 stations set up at Alabama State. Explain what each does and how this works with students. Sure. Thanks for having me back again. Dragonfly is the oldest operating drone manufacturer um, in North America. We trade uh, DFLYF as our symbol, and we really appreciate uh, being here. We originally developed the technology to work on drones, but where we've really seen traction is uh, in fixed-based cameras and even in uh, on cell phones for telemedicine. And what the technology does is it can actually uh, read uh, temperature through the thermal sensor, but it can also through the RGB sensor, which is the regular camera sensor be able to read heart rate, respiratory rate, and O2 saturation. And these are all uh, additional symptoms uh, as well as temperature that, uh, which may sometimes be asymptomatic, that can help give indication if somebody may have an infectious condition. And the, so do the I reason- walk, I want to interrupt, is I, for that particular station, do I walk by it? Do I walk through it? Like do the kids have to go through a specific um, area? And do they know they're being screened? Yeah, so for that that particular rig, yes, absolutely people know that they're they're being screened and, and it's uh, voluntary. You that particular rig you you can't be without no without knowing and without consent. Okay. Uh, you can't uh, be giving your your temperature or your heart rate or your respiratory rate. So you would walk up to it, you face it directly. It can be manned or unmanned. Uh, depending on the use case scenario, if people are walking into a stadium or a tightly controlled area where you really need to manage uh, the health measurements, then you would have it manned and make sure that every person goes through a process. Or you can have it as a um, an unmanned situation where people can go up and do a self-assessment. Okay. Now, now, I know when you were doing drone work and drone scanning that there have been some privacy concerns. So, But at Alabama State, you're not collecting any data from the, for the student. You're not collecting name or or anything, right? It's There's no just... personalized data, absolutely. There's no personalized data involved at all. It doesn't do any facial recognition. The technology was originally developed for two use cases, which was uh, one in disaster relief areas to be able to see if survivors on the ground are alive or how serious condition they're in so you can uh, triage uh, appropriately. And the second use case was to actually monitor the health of wildlife who might be uh, in a dangerous situation like a fire or challenging migration. And oh. of course, in both those cases, you don't use facial recognition. I like that. I like that. Real quick, um, has anybody, any other universities approached you? Are you talking to anyone? Yeah, th th this, you know, the fact of the matter is you can't test everybody every single day and there's not enough tests to go around anyway. So to be able to have a proactive action like this for people to screen and get a sense of where they're at to see if they then need to go for a test, it's the, the, the uh, what we are seeing is that it's uh, it's having an impact immediately already in the first week. Well, but We're talking are, with are, you are talking with some other universities? Yeah, yeah, dozens and dozens, actually. Dozens and dozens. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to get that out to the viewers. We're, we're running low on time. But Cameron Shell, thank you very much for being here.